everyone. Welcome to our week three yoga practice. Now, if you're new with us, maybe you've got your iPad a little late and you haven't been able to log on with us every week, it's important that you go back and watch some of the beginning episodes or some of the beginning lessons so that you can continue to build and you know what we're talking about. Because today, in our third week lesson, we're gonna build on one of the poses we did in week one. Now, in week one, we did the downward dog and the cobra pose. We also talked about some of the many benefits that yoga can do for you. And in week two, we worked on the mountain pose and the tree pose. Now, today we're gonna work on what we call the three-legged dog. Now, this is related to the downward dog. So if you haven't done that, again, very important that you go back and practice that first. Now, what you see behind me is a representation of what the three-legged dog should look like. In last week's video, I mentioned that I'm a beginner at yoga. It's not something that I do all the time, and I enjoy it kind of as a challenge. I like to do challenging positions like this one and see, hmm, can I do that? Now, generally, yoga is done as more of a relaxing, meditative kind of thing where, again, you're relaxing, you're concentrating on your breathing. I tend to like things that go fast, that are hard to do, so I like challenges. So for me, yoga is more about can I do that pose? And I used to have a friend who would challenge me all the time and say, hey, because she was a very good yoga instructor, can you do this? Can you do that? So that's how I kind of approach yoga. And again, any of these things that you like, practice them more and more, continue to do them, and do the things that you like to do, and get your family doing them as well. So again, this is what a three-legged dog should look like. Now you'll need to know how to do a downward dog, like we practiced in week one. And then all we're gonna do is raise one leg up so in this, in this picture, the woman has one of her legs raised and it's nice and straight, just like we talked about in the downward dog video, having a straight line extending from her, um, from her wrists, and then that's going to go all the way through the gluteus maximus and continue on the straight leg all the way through the ankle. The other leg is in the same position, foot almost flat to the ground. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now, I'm going to talk you through how to try and get there, but this is what it should look like. I probably won't look quite that good, so don't feel bad if you don't look perfect. Just keep trying, keep practicing. So we'll do it a couple times in the video, and then you can practice on your own. All right, here we go. Now, the first thing we're going to do in this one is line up just like we did for the downward dog. So we're going to get kind of in our cat or dog position. We're going to fold our toes under us. Now, I removed my shoes today because most people like to do yoga with their shoes off. Yeah, my socks on. And you can do it with your shoes on or off, you choose. We're gonna line up our hands in that push-up position, so even with our chest. Now, to first get to downward dog, all we're gonna do is push our gluteus maximus and our hips up to the sky, just like so. As you're doing that, simultaneously lower your foot towards the ground, and now you wanna concentrate on having a nice straight line, which should look like a nice triangle. This is the downward dog, and you will immediately feel your hamstrings and your gluteus maximus really stretching out. Now, to transition to a three-legged dog, all we're going to do now is lift one leg you choose, lift that leg straight up, and try and keep it nice and straight, and just hold it. Again, your leg should be nice and straight, the one that's in the air. You're still bringing your chest towards your knees, holding it, holding it. Remember, the longer you hold it, the better. Now we're gonna go ahead and transition back down, bring your leg back down to downward dog, and return all the way to the start. I kinda of hit the mirror a little bit there, so I'm gonna move up just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do the other leg. So again, hands are even with the chest here, just like a push-up. Our toes are bent under us. Now, push your hips towards the sky, chest towards your knees, now we're in downward dog. Now let's raise the other leg this time. Keep it nice and straight. Try to make a straight line from your wrists all the way through the gluteus maximus and through your ankles. And hold it, hold it, hold it. The longer, the better. Remember, we're strengthening our upper body at the same time. We're flexing our legs. We're stretching our legs rather. And all right, great job. So that was our first try. Now we'll take a little breath here. Catch your breath. Again, breathe. Yoga, we really concentrate on our breathing. Nice deep breaths. In and out. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Here we go. Let's go up to downward dog. Push your hips up. 
chest towards your knees, straight line from your wrists through your gluteus maximus, feet are almost flat. Now raise one leg up, nice and straight. Three-legged dog now, upper body is strengthening, lower body is stretching. And raising the leg up though does introduce a contraction into our gluteus maximus and hamstrings on the side you're lifting up. So we're doing a lot of different things all at the same time in yoga. And back to downward dog. Again, hold it, hold it. Let's lift the other leg this time. Three-legged dog, nice and straight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Breathe, deep breaths in and out. Back to downward dog. And back to our start position. All right, boys and girls. So that is the three-legged dog. Again, a better rendition of what it looked like than probably what I looked like is right there on the screen. Now keep practicing. Keep seeing if you can improve and get better and better. If you need to watch this again, go ahead and do so. Or if you feel like, yeah, I got it. I just need to practice and practice some more and tell mom or dad, hey, can you watch me and see if I look like this? Or maybe you look more like this. Ooh. Wherever you're starting at right now, just continue to try and get better. All right, everybody, I'm going to see you in the next section. And again, make sure you've done all three weeks of the yoga. That's why I'm only doing one pose today. So I want to make sure those of you who are a little behind get a chance to get caught up. All right, everybody. See you in the next section. Great job today.